please tell me that I am not the only one who puts on anything with a bold pattern on and looks absolutely ridiculous. No. Thank God. Oh no, sorry, oh. yeah. <laughs> as soon as I try and wear lots of layers, any cool new trends, I feel like my face just blends into the background and I look like this enormous mess of stuff. It definitely doesn't look like a well put together outfit and I think one of the reasons for this is my classic essence. You may have seen a previous video I did on my ethereal essence which I think is my second most dominant essence and my first one is classic. Classic essence is defined by timeless elegant features that you might find in a period drama and if you find that wearing too much bold stuff makes you just disappear then this might be the essence that you have. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a personal stylist and on this channel we use body types to level up our personal style and end the war with our wardrobes. Essences is a theory developed by a man called John Kitchener. His theory develops on this idea of kibby body types which we talk about a lot on this channel and instead of having 10 body types from yin to yang balance, Kitchener saw a gap that Kibbe didn't quite pinpoint. Kitchener's theory is based mostly on the idea of your facial features and matching your facial features to your clothing and creating a seamless harmony. I would say his theory is about 80% face type and 20% body type. For example, if you had really sweet, delicate, innocent features and you dressed in really strong, structured, bold, intimidating styles, there would be a mismatch and it would end up looking as if you didn't really know what kind of image you were trying to convey. If you want to know your essence, please head to bodyandstyle.com, which is my website, where I can tell you your essence, your body type, color season, and help you find your personal style. But what is classic essence specifically? Like I said, it's timeless, classic, clean, sophisticated, formal, it's conservative and neutral, which can all sound a bit boring, but on a classic face, wearing things which are simple and minimal really allows your own features to shine through. Classic faces are very difficult to caricature because there's nothing extreme about their face at all. Again, that sounds really boring, like, oh, you're average looking. Not necessarily. It means that none of your features are overly big or overly small, overly sharp, overly soft. Everything is in the middle. You are the Goldilocks of faces. You'll often hear the term symmetrical being used to define classic essence, but this doesn't mean literally one side of your face matching the other. No, it means rather yin-yang symmetry. So if you're new here, yin and yang is this idea of sharp versus soft. So yin is soft, delicate, little and rounded, and yang is sharp, long, narrow and large. And the seven face types is based on this idea. So at the most yang, you have dramatic, the most yin, you have romantic, and in the middle, you have classic. And there's obviously a few more with different levels of yin and yang balance in specific combinations. So where natural faces may have an extreme chin, or they might have a slightly blunt, blunt nose, or they might have noticeably high cheekbones, classic faces are not noticeably sharp, not noticeably soft. There's nothing really that you could pinpoint about their facial features and define them. And as such, there's no feature on their face which sort of defines their features. So when they dress in simple, minimal styles, it really allows their face to shine through. Whereas another type might look really boring and outdated in classic lines, classics merely look very elegant and sophisticated. They look very self-assured, like they really understand their features and they're just going with it. Some types also will look very stiff in these sort of classic styles, but classics, they actually look quite relaxed in what could otherwise be seen as very formal, formal shapes. And the less detail there is, the more of a classics beauty that you see. Now, so far all of this has been pretty vague. Simple in the middle clothes, what does that even mean? What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? Calvin Klein. I have a few examples to show you, but just in general, smooth controlled lines. Again, kind of vague, but if you think of it as clean lines, so frayed edges tend to be very noticeable against classic features because they look so relaxed it can make a classic type look quite sloppy whereas on a natural it would look really cool so on me the frayed edge is almost the first thing you see because not only do i have classic essence but i also have a classic body type things that are frayed and undone look instantly off on me if i have 
curls and they start to drop or I have flyaway hairs, it's the first thing that you see on me immediately. Whereas it, that little bit of undone can look really cool on some of the other types, but on a classic, it's kind of an instant no. <laughs> So. Even though when we're talking about facial features being symmetrical, we don't mean literally symmetrical, when we're talking about clothes, we kind of do. So asymmetrical lines can look really off on classic types because it disrupts the yin yang balance and it just looks a little bit sloppy and not quite put together. Quality fabrics, and by this, basically no fabrics that are gonna rip easily, things that are quite stiff and structured, and are quite simple. If you're going to have a pattern, it should be quite a simple pattern, like a very simple polka dot can look very classic and timeless, as we know from Pretty Woman, but anything with multiple colors in creating this very sort of saturated effect is going to look too much on a classic and it's going to wear you rather than you wearing it. Slightly rounded or slightly sharp details, everything about the clothes you're wearing should be slight and not noticeable. <laughs> So if it's going to be soft, it should be slightly soft. If it's going to be long, it should be slightly long. If it's going to be stiff, it should be slightly stiff. So everything just in moderation. You may have seen this bag in the corner that I want to talk to you about today. This bag was gifted to me by Teddy Blake and I am blown away by the quality of it. And this isn't sponsored, but I do have an affiliate link, which you can find in the description. And you'll also get a discount from me. So you can go and get yourself a bag like this. The whole idea of the brand is that they are quality made, um, like most designers, but at a fraction of the price. And you can see quality Italian leather. It smells amazing. Like the detail on this bag is amazing. It has these gorgeous little straps open it up and it's got this suede on the inside lots of little pockets it's really stunning it's a really stunning bag and I would highly recommend them if you want to get your hands on something that feels like the real thing without spending thousands and thousands of pounds on something another thing to mention for classic essence is things like traditional style rules really tend to apply for example the sandwich rule is very important for classic types. So this could be matching your bag and your shoes and your belt together in the same color to create this pattern throughout. For some other types, this doesn't look as obvious and it's not as noticeable if your shoes and your bag don't match exactly, or if you wear two blacks, which are slightly different tones. But on a classic, it's going to catch your eye immediately and it's going to look not put together. So things like that are very important if you have classic essence. If you have watched this video and you've decided that you definitely don't have classic essence, please, it's nothing to worry about. There are lots of different types of essences and one type of beauty is no better than another. We all have unique things that are special about us. This is just, if you have classic essence, this is the best way to bring it out in you and let your own unique beauty shine. If you found this video interesting, I really recommend my playlist on essences. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Hey.